mchezaji Foden kwanza kitu ambacho tunafaa kufahamu sisi sote ni kwamba Foden is a very gifted and a natural winger ilikuwa necessary eh, Foden aweze kuanza kwa sababu mechi za kwanza mbili hatukuweza kumwona eh, Phil Foden akianza kwa hivyo jana aliingia na aka make statement pale uwanjani alicheza vizuri aliweza kuconvert ile assist ambayo alipewa na Riken na I think um, going forward uh, Gareth Southgate must start using Foden ahead of Sterling because unaangalia pia Foden is more clinical pale kwa attack at least analeta more uh, attack threat like an as a either score or assist in a game Sterling at most chances ni mchezaji anaweza poteza chances tatu afunge moja so kulingana na mimi Southgate uh, itakuwa vizuri sana akianzisha Phil Foden because Phil Foden ako na talent finishing ako sawa eh, kumanizia hizo ku create chances pia anajua ku create itakuwa mzuri sana kusonga mbele because now tunaingia round of 16 where by uh, that one chance you don't have to waste it you must convert it na usipo convert at least ujaribu kupiga assist so Foden uh-huh. is the real deal going forward Tukizungumzia taifa la Uingereza. Jana ushindi mkubwa 3-0. Phil Foden hajakuwa kianza mechi za kwanza mbili, mechi za kwanza mbili za makundi lakini jana akaanzishwa na alifunga bao. Na feel kwamba ni wakati rasmi kwamba kwenye hatua ya muondoano kocha Gareth Southgate aweze kumuanzisha kama kikosi cha kwanza huyu mchezaji kwa jina la Phil Foden. Fuck pole 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 uh, just a minute eh, nilikuwa fikiria una uliza uh, timu uh, i think um, phil foden the one of the best players in the wa- in the world already not just the youngest player if not the best in the world right now uh, ukikompare na watu kama pedri ukikompare na watu kama gavi watu kama kama vinga chwameni how what wote he is in that caliber and rightly so um, foden ni one of pep guardiola's key players na amekuwa na very successful season this year Uh, in terms of natural talent and ability uh, there is no doubt uh, nafikiria yeye ndo anaye kipaji kikubwa zaidi kushinda wenzake katika kikosi hicho cha England lakini ukiangazia uh, Gareth Southgate anakuanga a very conservative manager na he has players that he trust uh, ukiangazia mtu kama Mason Mount mtu kama Bukayo Saka uwezi compare in terms of talent uwezi compare to a uh, Phil Foden. Uh, lakini una unaonanga mtu kama uh, Mount na Saka huchezesho kwa sababu when they don't have the ball they will follow and press relentless. Na hiyo ndio kitu mtu kama Southgate anapenda manake Southgate ni nahodha ambaye ni coach ambaye anakuanga very conservative, ni mkufunze na kuanga very conservative. So uh, from that point of view um, I think Foden deserves a chance. Uh, I, if I were the coach I'd be starting him week in week out but Tunajua huyu ni Gareth Southgate. He is conservative and these methods have worked for, for him. Manake ameweza kufikisha hiki kikosi semi finals 2018, final Euro 2020. So uh, from that point of view I feel like um, he deserves a chance but knowing Southgate I think he'll continue benching him. Right, kama vile Mark amesema is a very conservative coach. Na feel heading into this tournament alikuwa right from the onset alikuwa so much dependent on wingers because angalia first time out alichezesha partnership ya Bukayo Saka na kushoto alikuwa nani ilikuwa uh, Skumbugi Grealish or somebody uh, pia yes anakaa angalia ilikuwa ni show looks eh, ilikuwa eh, na Ford wingers wingers Ford na Rashfield Ford na Rashford. Na, no no nasema mechi ya kwanza ile 6-2 ilikuwa Bukayo right. Saka. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, uh, pengine tutapata as we move ahead. Uh, pia uh, full backs wao Bukayo Saka na uh, Nadi yule akicheza kwenye right flank. So na feel uh, walitumia so much uh, uh, pos- possession uh, on the wings because walijua team sambazo walikuwa in the same group uh, awakuwa na power ya kudominate, ya kudominate England on the flank so i feel wale wingers wame chip in the goals because angalia mtu kama Rashford ame rediscover form yake ya mabao Phil Foden Bukayo Saka Jack Grealish wote ambao wametumika pale wamekuwa kifunga mabao the only problem niko nayo ni Harry Kane because Harry Kane amekuwa much conservative and play more of a creator than a goal scorer 
because going forward utahitaji the typical number 9 ku pop up because their games ambapo wingers hawata sababisha yale mabao utahitaji uh, itakuwa ni pengine ile mechi ya one chance one goal ambapo utakuwa unahitaji mtu kama hurricane sana wale wingers pengine watam disappoint going forward because games zinaenda kukuwa tight as we move ahead so na feel uh, anafaa ku rediscover hurricane uh, form ya hurricane acha kumtumia match as a creator but as a goal scorer 